What is the number one problem that condemns society in our world today? Is it crime? Is it obesity? Is it heart disease? Is it cancer? Well, those problems certainly do not help, but no, they're not even close to the problem. There is one problem mankind has always had that has created 98% of all other world problems. That's right. And it's something a lot of people don't think about. But if you think about it, after what I'm about to tell you, then you might be able to begin to put it all together. Because that one issue that makes trouble for everybody on earth is called greed. G-R-E-E-D. Greed. Now think about that. Let me give you the definition of greed. This is just the child's definition. This is what you would tell your children so they would better understand what greed is. Greed, selfish desire for food, money, and possessions over one's needs. Selfish desire for food, money, and possessions over one's needs. Yep, that falls right into obesity, doesn't it? Because you like food, and you want more of it, and you want it to be better. You want more cars, you want more this, you want more that. Everybody's guilty of it, but that doesn't mean that you cannot get away from it. I am not perfect, but I have found over the years, I have come to realize what greed does, and I don't think I was ever greedy. But if you live in a city, and you live around many others, uh, you know, it's you're, you're trying to compete, a lot of us are. Your neighbor buys a new car, what do you want to do? You go out and buy a newer car, probably one higher up model. That's how it works out there, and it's only getting worse. But I'm not here to tell you about greed. Uh, this is a losing weight channel, but I wanted to put the greed up there to tell you, you know, it's, it's like, greed is like a, you take a piece of meat and you set it in the middle of the room and you don't touch it. Well, what's that meat gonna do? It's gonna sit there and rot. But it doesn't just rot, it attracts undesirable things, bacteria, which also can be good, but it attracts bugs. It attracts nothing pleasant. Okay, if you were to sit there in that same room with that rotting piece of meat, you would not have a pleasant experience. It would put a foul odor in the air. And greed is the same way. The only thing greed, it, it doesn't create anything beneficial. It only creates trouble. And it even, you know, crime, crime, if it wasn't for greed, you just think of what our crime rate would be. You're like, well, there's still sex crimes. Well, sex crimes are greed because as the definition and says, selfish desire, okay? They may not be taking money, but they're taking somebody's dignity. So it all boils down to stress. Now I got some facts for you. If you would just, and I wouldn't recommend women to do this, pull in a Walmart parking lot and just people watch for a while. And you look at the percentage of people that are overweight, it, it's, it's mind boggling. And then if you go a step further and you look at the checkout, the things they're buying, especially if they're grocery shopping, and then you'll know why. And the hard facts are, there's 7.9 billion people in the world today. I think that's already went over 8 billion. But out of that, 1 billion are obese. 1 billion people. That is three United States wrapped into one. That's how many people a billion people is. And then you gotta consider some of the more populated countries like India and then over in Africa. Those people are hungry and they're very overpopulated. 
So that's taken up a lot of that. But for the civilized countries, so-called, <laughs> they call us civilized, man. I don't know if you could call it that because it's nothing but trouble now. Well, let's use, for example, the United States. 331 million people reside in the United States of America. And how many of those people do you think are obese, overweight, whatever you want to call it? They are above 25% body fat. 159 million. That's right, a hundred and over half, at least half of the United States citizens are fat. Yep. Now the UK does not escape this. The UK has 67.9 million people. And the percentage of those people that are overweight, obese, or fat is 29%. And I think their numbers are lower because they've more or less stuck to the older traditions and ways and Western civilization has creeped to them. They're getting the fast foods, they've had it. So it's only a matter of time until it sweeps the entire um, civilized world. <laughs> and in America, 18.5% of all children are obese. Now that should not be at all. Children should not be obese. Now, growing up in the 70s, we had the chubby kid in school. Maybe one or two of them. And yes, he got picked on. You might, if you're younger watching this, you might go, that's wrong. Well, that's how it was, okay? Because there wasn't any overweight people like there is today. Today, it's a common sight. I imagine the younger generation doesn't even notice it. But I do. And that's why I started walking and I'm, I don't care what it takes. I'm getting down to a healthy weight. It shouldn't have took 56 years for me to do it. Of course, I have not been overweight except for the last probably 15 years. And it wasn't even that bad. So what we're going to do here in a minute, I'm going to take you into my kitchen and I've got a few products I pulled out of my pantry and my refrigerator. And I'm going to show you some of the things that we eat you don't even realize how bad they are so let's go do that all right these are just some things that have been in my cupboards a lot of them i was never intending to eat such as this griffin's bacon flavored syrup now i haven't even looked at the label on this yet but i really already can tell you if you eat this, I bet if you drank this bottle, it would kill you dead right now. Let's look at the first ingredients. Corn syrup. High fructose corn syrup, which is sugar. Oh my goodness. Total carbs, 63 grams. Sugar, 47 grams. That's per serving. All right. Eight teaspoons of sugar is 32 grams. So there's like, it's like they poured sugar in here and dyed it with some color and put a little corn syrup in there and we're going to sell it. But I guarantee you, there's people loving this stuff. That is going in to the trash. Here's one that broke my heart, guys. Lowry's Seasoned Salt. I put this stuff on everything. Look here, no MSG added. <laughs> you won't get a headache. Now, ingredients are listed in quantity. The first thing listed in ingredients is what it has the most of, and then so on and so forth. I will get a picture of this. The number one ingredient in this is salt. The number two ingredient sugar that's right and then it has a few other spices it listed it won't even exactly tell you but it's got cornstarch i mean it's just garbage in here trash mayo soybean oil water eggs vinegar sugar is right down in there but mayo this doesn't even have, doesn't even give you the, ah, in the trash. Wishbone White Thousand Island Dressing. 
Total sugars, 3 grams. Now that's not bad. And then you go down here and we look and we find out where, what degree the sugar is. And I can't really see it. I don't see it on the, uh, uh, it's on the beginning of the second line. So if you eat something like this, you know, sparingly, there's not, I mean, you're not going to get rid of all sugars. Great northern beans. Well, I don't think there's going to be any sugars in this, would there? Added sugar, zero. Total sugars, one gram. That's probably going to be natural. Because there's not much they can do to this. Lentils. Uh, we got sugars, one gram. Yeah, no added sugars. A lot of fiber. Peanut butter. You know that's a lot. Actually, it's not too bad. Total sugars, three grams. Two grams added sugars. So, but I am not eating peanut butter in this diet. And this is for my mouse traps. So, I'm not throwing that. Now, this is something a subscriber sent me. And uh, it's very good. Sugar free dressing. And I got several different flavors. It has a lot of salt, man. 250 milligrams of salt. But. You know, I'm, I'm about getting away from the sugars right now. So we can do that. But guys, it's in everything. And you really have to be careful on seasonings. As you can see, this doesn't have anything. This is a true seasoning. It's got marjoram. Never heard of that. But that's pretty much all seasonings. But some of it's hidden. And then we got this Mrs. Dash. And I don't see sugar in it. But I wonder about what some of these other ingredients are. But in this particular brand, most of them look pretty good. And we have wishbone, two grams of sugar. Now you got to think, you got to you got to realize it's saying per serving, so you have to look at what servings sizes are. And this has no high fructose or corn syrup. And I imagine it's got a little sugar. You're not going to get away from it all. You can't go wrong with Quaker Oats, right? Nope. There's no sugar in that. One gram. Most surprisingly, yeah, we've all had to eat this stuff. But there's no sugar in it. And no added MSG. And I guarantee you what, if you're not supposed to have salt, 700, oh my God, per package, per half a package, 790 milligrams of sodium. 34% of this is salt. And if you eat the whole package, you're going to get 1,590 milligrams of salt. But I don't throw these out because you never know if this is good emergency food. If the S hit the fan, you need a stock of this. Because uh, the diet goes out the window in uh, the apocalypse, right? So we keep that. Cajun seasoning. Well, let's see. Has it got any sugar? I don't see any. Mostly spices. Celery seed. Hey, <laughs> garlic and onion. So we'll, well, we'll keep that. Liquid smoke. Yep. Anyway, here's one I just noticed. Bullion cubes. That has sugar listed as the second ingredient, third ingredient. That it, that blows my mind. So I won't be using these again. <sighs> Weiler's beef bullion. So get the broth already made. Check the labels. And there we have it. You know, if you even halfway try to be careful in the grocery store and read all the labels it takes forever you know so what I've done is the things I know that are good for me those are the only things I'm going to be having in my cabin everything else goes out the trash uh, I have not even ate ice cream anything I've pretty much cut all the sugars I could uh, beverages all I've been drinking is water and unsweet tea I buy a gallon. I could easily make my own tea. I don't. I like the flavor of the uh, Red Diamond Unsweet Tea, and that's what I've been buying. And I usually only drink one glass of that a day, usually with a meal. I've been eat, 
making things like beans and chili and big big pots of them and eating them till they're gone if i get tired of it i freeze it make something else by that time i'll you know i'll pull pull it back out and it's worked for me um i never had a sweet tooth i never never drank uh soft drinks ever you know i mix them with whiskey that's about it is the only time but i haven't been drinking you've probably seen the two liters on my counter they've been here for three months uh, i don't drink them and those when you drink soft drinks you're really getting into uh, the high sugar count and some people drink it all day and i can't buy I, I can't believe <laughs> some people can do that and now the monster drinks uh the the energy drinks I smelled that one time. One, of, I smelled one of those monsters or whatever. Uh, the smell turned me off so bad. I never, never even tried one. So they can't be good for you. I guarantee you they're not. All right. Well, I appreciate everyone watching. Just some, just some. You know, I'm not going to change the world with this video. But if there may, if there's one person out there that I might have woke up who may do better hey may live another six months longer than i did something good but it's a lot of information a lot of you if, if you've watched a lot of documentaries a lot of you already know these things and it's in our nature to resist change but it isn't as hard as you might think it is and you're gonna i'm gonna prove that to you you've already seen me lose weight you're gonna see me down to a normal size and I'm probably gonna look pretty funny with the skinny face and, and all that I appreciate everybody happy trails